Today, I want to talk about Evernote's changes to the subscription plan and what they are planning to do in the future with this new subscription model. And I think it's a definite improvement. I'm also going to touch on the new look and design that those who may be watching this channel may not have seen. Now, we're going to explore why these changes are generally good for Evernote's future user base and also where they could be going in the future near the end of this video. So welcome everyone. If you're new, do sign up to Tool Digest. It's a newsletter that dives into new apps, new resources, and everything productivity tools in every two weeks we do one. Uh, you can find the link below and uh, you can get some really great um, insights and bonuses from that newsletter. It's our one, we're excited. So link up to it below. So very simply, Evernote have changed their subscription plan. And it stems from 14 of their features. 14 features are now available to every user. And I'm gonna explain this in human terms to you. <laughs> but basically what that means is everything that was locked under personal and pro professional can now be available in free. And anything that was available in professional is now available to personal and free. So very simple. Um, and that means that there are six new features in Evernote Personal. And you're probably wondering like, why, why are you talking about personal, Francesco? Well, the new pricing I believe makes Evernote Personal 10 times more attractive and 10 times more approachable. So obviously all of these 14 features from the email notes into Evernote and share notes via email, whatever it is, are now available to free users. But the free plan is limited to 50 notes in one notebook. So it's likely that those free Evernote users are going to turn into customers much faster. That's probably their general premise behind doing it. So that those people can access all the features and fill up their storage very, very fast. But it does make the personal plan a lot more attractive for the following reasons. If I find what the professional features were, PDF export, business card scanning, spreadsheet preview, Boolean search, geographic search, and document and image search are now personal features. So if we go over to the pricing plans, you can see now that pretty much all features are available in personal. And the only difference to the features are limitations in professional, personal and workspace Google Calendar accounts, multiple people in your tasks, and integrations with Slack. That's the only dramatic change and something I just actually only found out that they've added, I think pretty much this morning, 20% off Adobe Acrobat standard. So I I, I don't know, <laughs> massive upgrade. But at the same time, it, it, it makes personal so much more attractive than it did before. Like. That is a really decent personal plan because before they had six features and a lot of them were just unaccessible because of professional. It's like, I don't want to upgrade to professional just because of that. But here you've actually got a truly professional and a truly personal plan, which is 10 times better than it was before. And it also increases the opportunity for people to move over from free to personal. Um, so that's like a really good decision. When you look back at what it previously was, it just makes it sound stupid um, to have had that before. And Evernote have made some pretty decent changes when it comes to the look. Like the new look is a lot cleaner and with that reliability infrastructure they've made, it's a lot faster, which is really good. Uh, the new look is just almost like rubbing out all of the rubbish that was there before. Like it was a little bit too cluttered. I mean, even my, even my home area is too cluttered. Um, but you can get the idea. Like things were just, there was just too much going on. And for the average Evernote user who's just joining, that's just, it looked old hat. And this new design looks a lot cleaner. And going on to the point is the infrastructure is there because they've improved that in the background. The design's getting better. Where do I think Evernote's going next? I think it's going in twofold. I think now that they've done this, I think they'll probably focus on AI features, which is innovations that they can bring to the table. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. And the second is um, the mobile experience. Evernote, I think, can win in the mobile space because for those who don't know, Bending Spoons is one of the best mobile developing, mobile development companies in the world. They have over, I think it's 500 million, there you go, 500 million app downloads collectively, 
100 million active users across their different uh, experiences. And let's just look at the products. Um, let me show you when it comes to mobile. Like they create really reliable, good mobile applications. If you look at, say, Remini, like it's it's really a good quality application and it's really reliable and fast. They also have one called Splice. Um, we'll come back to the Evernote part because it's quite interesting what they sort of touch on there. Splice was bought f by f by Bending Smooth from GoPro, and they basically took it to a much cleaner, smarter application. Um, but if you look at the mo if you look at the the segment on Evernote, they call this the legendary personal productivity app. I quite like that they brought in some because I feel like when they bought them. They didn't really make any fuss out of that. And that, to me, is one of their best things that they should do. Anyway, look, they're talking already about razor sharp AI functionality. And they talk about the collaborative editing and the AI note taking and the AI powered search. These, I think, in my opinion, from looking at what their proprietary technologies are, I think this is just a starting point. Um, in terms of like what a note truly is, like all of this AI data that they collect and process internally, everything you've ever written historically, I think is going to become probably one of Evernote's strongest points to a point where I think, in my opinion, they're going to become, they're not going to become a note taking app much longer. They're going to become like a planner app. Wild predictions, but no, because because they have all of these, they fix the infrastructure, they can focus on tasks and calendar, they can amplify it, and they can really chase up the daily planner market. That's January, I believe. And I think with this planning aspect that they can do, like the AI uh, data points that they can collect, I think planning becomes much more effective with the, what they're doing with these, these technologies. That's where I think it's heading. I started with pricing, I've gone down the rabbit hole here. But it's interesting to see Evernote fix a lot of things, like um, the the note, the, the announcement they went from to free plan, 50 notes in one notebook was not handled as well as it can be. But I was chatting with somebody the other day, maybe they wanted that, maybe they want all our previous users to go because maybe we were freeloaders. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds bad, but maybe we were, and maybe they want more people serious to take on the personal plan. So much more common in productivity these days that these sort of things happen. Like, it's a bit like Twitter or X, whatever you call it. Everyone talking about their premium pricing and paying for it. It's like, put your money where your mouth is if you enjoy the service. And I think that's where a lot of the productivity space is going. Hence, pricing changes with everything. So uh, that's my latest state of Evernote. <laughs> and uh, I, I look forward to seeing what your opinion are in the comments below. Um, it's always an, an interesting ride covering Evernote. And I think I've, been, I've long overdue to chat properly about Evernote at least. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please do comment below with any of your opinions on Evernote. Check out Tool Digest and subscribe if you're new here to the channel. So thank you very much and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.